From Axie Infinity to Crypto Blades, here is a list of the best play-to-earn blockchain games that provide users with a comprehensive gaming experience and many ways to earn money. We'll go through cryptocurrencies, definitions, and how to get started right away in this channel. Then, join us as we go into the history of tokens or coins, blockchain, NFT, play-to-earn games, and meet with industry professionals. Caesar Strategy welcomes you on board. Blockchain games have the potential to improve the gaming business significantly. Through this technology, players who spend money on such games or even contribute to the gaming metaverse as free-to-play gamers can claim ownership of in-game things. The fact that players may not only handle in-game assets but also trade and sell them is what makes Play to Earn appealing. In the world of blockchain gaming, play-to-earn games have become the new norm. NFT-based gaming ventures attract millions of gamers by leveraging innovative technologies and full ownership of NFT assets. Gamers may now earn real money in the form of crypto tokens by playing their favorite games. This year has witnessed a significant boom period for play-to-earn games, which has created a plethora of new revenue prospects for artists, gamers, and other creatives. In addition, people from impoverished countries use these platforms to generate an excellent monthly income. Axie Infinity Gamers in the Philippines, for example, earn an average of $300 to $400 every month. It is critical to understand which projects have solid fundamentals and are worth playing and learning about. Let's take a look at the top blockchain games with a play-to-earn structure. Axie Infinity Consider combining Pokemon Go and Ethereum. You don't have to envision it because such a game already exists. Anyone interested in the play-to-earn blockchain gaming universe will come across Axie Infinity at some point. It is currently the most popular play-to-earn game in the Philippines and has a worldwide fan base. To begin playing, players must obtain three Axies or monsters purchased from the built-in marketplace. If the players do not have enough money to purchase the Axies, they can apply for a scholarship in Axie Infinity. In addition, you may gather and breed pets in Axie Infinity. Genetics is essential because a child receives qualities from both parents. In addition, you can fight in the arena. The more vital your pet, the better your chances of winning. The game contains both a PvE and a PvP mode, with the latter offering special prizes. All in-game earnings can be bought, sold, and exchanged, including Axie Infinity Shards (AXS) and Smooth Love Potions (SLP). Crypto Blades Competitive play-to-earn games in an RPG environment are becoming increasingly popular. For example, users can earn skill tokens in Crypto Blades, a new blockchain game by killing foes, raiding with friends, and staking gains. Players can also create characters and weapons to beat adversaries and sell in-game items on the built-in marketplace. Before they can play the game, players must purchase a character. As a result, to join in conflicts, people must pay a little charge in the form of BNB. Battle fees are promptly reimbursed to winners in the form of skill tokens. Gold Fever This is a 3D game with simple graphics and gameplay. We understand, however, that we are not performing for the sake of a plot or a beautiful picture. If the game were too fantastic, the players would pay for it, not the other way around. So you're competing with other people for gold and attempting to mine it, just like cryptocurrency miners do. Game gold is equivalent to decentralized NFTs, or non-fungible tokens, traded on the market in theory. As a result, the more gold you mine, the better your gaming earnings. As an added benefit, some things in the game can be sold for digital cash in the future. NGL is the money utilized in Gold Fever. The token is still in the ICO stage at the moment. Therefore, it is not traded on major stock exchanges. Crypto Snake The gameplay of Crypto Snake is fundamental. It's based on the old school snake game. Cryptocurrencies on the Binance Smart Chain BSC blockchain provide food for your snake. The more you consume, the higher your pet stats will be. You can also use your local cash to level up your snake, which will allow you to earn even more money in the future. If the snake doesn't make you nostalgic, the gameplay may appear monotonous. But on the other side, you spend less time on in-game activities that aren't necessary and instead earn consistently. DeFi is an abbreviation for decentralized finance. The drivers of the crypto snake economy are emission, demand, having, distribution of 30% of each new player's initial transaction among the old ones, burning old tokens, and other factors. Zed Run 
Riding a real horse would be the best thing ever, but most of us lack the required skills and chances to make that fantasy a reality. You can, however, do so now. Even though it will take place in a digital environment, you may now enjoy horse racing using NFTs with Zed Run. You purchase NFTs that symbolize the horse and use them to compete in races. If you get excellent at it, you can even make decent money in the long run. Zed Run has not only produced one of the most sustainable NFT games since its inception in 2019, but they have also managed to cultivate an outstanding community that likes to acquire horse Horses and believes in the company's long-term mission. Using the Polygon chain also provides users with lower gas prices and more enjoyable NFT minting experience. Splinterlands Have you ever played Pokemon or Yu-Gi-Oh? We're sure you had a lovely time. So how about taking it a step further? Splinterlands has arrived. Consider having your trading cards stored on a blockchain, giving you complete ownership and the ability to sell, trade, and swap with any player on the planet via a peer-to-peer -peer market. Splinterlands is not a leisurely, meticulously managed trading card game like most others. Instead, its mechanism is quick and effective. In this manner, players do not need to analyze every move of their opponent to win a game. Instead, after the players create teams from their card collections, the combat begins automatically. The NFT-based trading game was renamed Steam Monsters in 2018, and it has now attracted over 100,000 active players who have played in over 60 million matches. Many players prefer automatic and fast-paced combat because there is always a chance to win or acquire experience. War Riders War Riders is an online strategy game with numerous players that awards participants in cryptocurrencies. Players can design their own set of war machines and battle opponents for in-game cash. Benzene BZN. However, the supply of the BZN token is limited by a burning process, therefore it is finite. Wax is a utility token in the multiplayer game. It assists participants in the creation of virtual marketplaces for their automobiles. When players obtain BZN tokens, they can use them to modify various sections of the war vehicle. In addition, it can produce a particular value in the open market, allowing the player to make good profits by simply playing the game for a couple of hours every day. Neon District Neon District is another NFT-based role-playing game with a variety of adventures and skirmishes. It makes use of the most recent blockchain technology to build a sci-fi universe in which players can advance through stages and acquire in-game things. In addition, players can exchange NFT things for other cryptocurrencies in a play-to-earn game. The play-to-earn experience is open to everybody and completely free to use. To gain a better return on investment, upgrade your characters, weapons, equipment, and armor. It is possible to obtain rare assets by participating in more conflicts. You can trade them in an open market or equip your characters with them. Rev Racing Rev Racing is a one-of-a-kind NFT game created by Animoca Brands that have a real-life play-to-earn economy. The ERC-20 utility token, Rev, serves as the primary currency for the various brands under the Animoca umbrella. The racing framework is similar to F1 Delta Time, with the same in-game currency and gameplay functionality. Because Rev is a cross-title token, it can be used in any Animoca Brands motorsport game. To avoid hefty gas expenses, players can move their tokens to Polygon. In addition, the Polygon Ethereum Bridge will make it easier to transfer tokens back to the original ETH chain. The cars in the game can be minted, upgraded, and sold as NFTs on the market. Thus, players who have genuine ownership of their in-game goods will not only have a more immersive motorsport racing experience, but they will also be able to make decent profits by exploiting blockchain capabilities. Dot Moves Dot Moves is a mobile-first sports game that employs blockchain technology to deliver value to all participating players in the form of in-game tokens. Sports players who use NFTs can choose new challenges without being limited by physical limits. As a result, everyone who plays Dot Moves will now be allowed to participate in sporting challenges. Sports mining is also available to users. It enables individuals to earn additional cryptocurrency by engaging in sports and completing new challenges. Tournaments can also offer large sums of money. The challenges are judged by AI-driven referees, which reduces fraud and other undesirable practices. The platform will feature a collection of sports with varying challenges. The first sport is now freestyle football. 
we see top footballers working together to offer new challengers for users. This is an exciting initiative to keep an eye on. The platform will develop tremendously when the company adds additional world-class athletes to its network. What to look for when choosing an NFT game? The profitability of an NFT game should be diverse, including not only an increase in demand for in-game currency, but also halving, staking, and so on. It is preferable if the algorithm is based on tried-and-true technology, Binance Smart Chain, for example, or Ethereum Smart Contracts. The game token must be listed on a cryptocurrency exchange or will be listed shortly. Otherwise, liquefying the game cash will be tough. When no one was watching, the NFT space took off. But now we see interest from all sides. With Axie Infinity's recent popularity, play-to-earn games have shown to be profitable. We observe people buying houses and paying off debts by simply playing the game all day. However, it is safe to assume that NFT gaming will not end with a single game. NFTs are still in their infancy, and we have a long way to go. That's all for today's video. Make sure to subscribe to stay up to speed on the newest cryptocurrency news. We'll see you next time.